Hello friends. Welcome to the Artso Designs YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel. This video is a sewing tutorial for the clutch purse design, called Adeline Clutch, size large, sewing pattern, designed by Artso Designs. This is a free sewing pattern available for instant download. The link to download this PDF pattern is in the description box below. The PDF sewing pattern file is available for instant download from Google Drive by following the link in the description box. Follow the link in the description box to download the free PDF file to your computer or phone. This clutch purse is spacious with four zippered compartments and is fully lined. This purse is quick and easy to sew with successful results. Let us take a closer look at the purse. Adeline Clutch has a zippered pocket on the front of the purse. The zippered front pocket is large enough to fit a smartphone. There is an identical zipper pocket on the back of the purse. The main compartment of the purse has a zipper closure. Inside the main compartment, there is a zipper pocket on one side of the lining. There are two spacious slip pockets on the opposite side of the lining. The bottom of the purse features boxed corners. This sewing pattern is for the large size version of the Adeline Clutch design. In the previous video, we have demonstrated the making of Adeline Clutch size small and size medium versions. In this video, we will demonstrate how to sew with the Adeline Clutch in the large size. We have placed the small size, medium size, and large size Adeline Clutch purses side by side for size reference. Adeline Clutch, size large, measures 10 and a half inches wide at the top, by 6 and a half inches tall, by 1 and a half inches deep. This pattern is beginner bag maker friendly and only involves straight line sewing. No need to sew around any curves. This bag is domestic home sewing machine friendly and is a profitable make and sell idea. In the free PDF file, all pattern measurements are provided in both inches and centimeters. Always open the PDF file with Adobe Reader program. The downloaded free PDF file contains accurate measurements and computer-drafted pattern templates. Print only the last three pattern pages. Always set the printer settings to print at 100% scaling or actual size. After printing the templates, measure the 2-inch test square provided on the first pattern page to check if the pattern templates are printed correctly. Use the pattern template assembly diagram to assemble the template for lining panel D. Let's look at the materials required for the bag. I am using pure cotton quilting weight fabrics for the exterior, lining, and accents. This pattern only requires two types of interfacing materials like medium weight fusible woven interfacing, such as Pelin SF101, and fusible fleece, such as Pelin 987F. We also need about 1 yard total length of size 5, continuous zipper tape purchased by the yard, and 4 zipper pulls. This pattern requires a 3 quarters inch wide swivel hook and a 5 8 7 inch wide deering. 
We only need some basic sewing tools and notions for this project. Cutting mat and quilting rulers. Rotary cutter and scissors. Sewing pins and wonder clips. Heat erasable marking pen. Polyester thread and size 14 sewing machine needle. Please follow the cutting and fusing instructions provided in the PDF file. To achieve accurate pattern pieces, I like to pre-fuse the woven interfacing to the fabrics before cutting out the pattern pieces. After completing the cutting and fusing steps, we will have the following pieces ready for sewing. We should have two cuts of lower panel, A, cut from the exterior fabric, interfaced with fusible fleece. Two cuts of upper panel, B, cut from the exterior fabric, interfaced with fusible fleece. Two cuts each of panel, CR, and CL, cut from the accent fabric, interfaced with fusible fleece. Two cuts of lining panels, D, cut from the lining fabric, interfaced with woven interfacing. Two cuts of exterior zipper pocket lining panels, E, cut from the lining fabric, interfaced with woven interfacing. One cut each of lining zipper pocket panels, G, and H, cut from the lining fabric, interfaced with woven interfacing. One cut of handle strap piece, J, cut from the exterior fabric, interfaced with woven interfacing. One cut of lining zipper pocket facing piece, F, cut from the lining fabric, this piece is not interfaced. One cut of lining slip pocket piece, I, cut from the lining fabric, this piece is not interfaced. Two cuts of zipper tab pieces, K, cut from the accent fabric, this piece is not interfaced. One cut of D-ring tab piece, L, cut from the accent fabric, this piece is not interfaced. Cut the zipper tape into four pieces, according to the measurements provided in the PDF file. Insert one zipper pull into each zipper tape. Let's start sewing the purse. Take the handle piece, J, and fold it in half and press. Open the fold and press the long edges towards the center crease and press. Fold in half again and press. The handle strap should measure 3 quarters inch wide. Thread the swivel hook into the folded handle strap. Open the folding and bring the short edges of the handle, right sides together, and pin in place matching the short ends and the side edges of the handle strap. Sew so the aligned short edge of the handle strap with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seam open and refold the handle strap as before. A handle strap ring is formed with the swivel hook threaded inside the ring. Top stitch on both long edges of the handle strap with 1 8 7 inch seam allowance. Push the swivel hook to one end of the handle strap and fold the strap on itself to secure the swivel hook to one end of the strap. Top stitch across the handle strap, as close as possible to the swivel hook. The wristlet strap is complete. Set aside for later. Take the lining zipper pocket facing piece F with wrong side facing up. 
draw a rectangle box in the middle of the piece F, one inch away from all the four sides. Also mark the midpoint along the top long edge of facing piece F. Take the lining panel, D, and mark its midpoint along the top edge. Mark a point half an inch down from the midpoint. Place the facing piece F on top of lining panel, D, right sides together. Match the midpoint of facing piece F with the half an inch marking on lining panel, D. Pin in place. Sew around the rectangle box drawn on facing piece F. Draw a line in the center of the sewn rectangle box. This line should start and stop 3 8 7 inch from the ends of the rectangle box. Draw four diagonal lines going from the center line to each of the four corners. Cut along the drawn line through all the layers of fabric. Be careful not to clip the stitching. Press the facing piece, F, away from the right side of the lining panel, D. Pull the piece, F, through the hole you just cut, and press flat against the wrong side of lining panel, D. Take the lining zipper pocket inner panel piece, G, and the lining zipper pocket outer panel piece, H. Press the bottom long edge of pieces, G and H, 3 8 7 inch towards the wrong side. Take the 8 inch long zipper. Take the lining zipper pocket inner panel G with right side facing up. Place the zipper right side facing up on top of the panel G, aligning the unfolded long edge of piece G with one of the long edges of the zipper tape. Sew with the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Fold the zipper tape away from the sewn edge and press the seam to the back towards the wrong side of piece G. Take the lining zipper pocket outer panel, H, with right side facing up. Place panel, G, on top of the panel, H, right sides together, aligning the top unfolded long edge, of piece H, with the unsewn edge of the zipper tape. Also, match the side and bottom edges. Sew the aligned edge, with a quarter inch seam allowance. Open and unfold the panels, G, and H, away from each other, and press the seam towards the wrong side of piece H. The zipper is sandwiched in between piece, G, and H. Flip the zipper pocket piece so that the right side of the zipper is facing up, and also, panel, H, is to the top and panel, G, is to the bottom. Take the lining panel, D, with the hole. Center the hole in the panel. D, on top of the zipper pocket piece. The zipper and the zipper pull should be visible through the hole. Make sure that on the wrong side of lining panel, D, the short edges of the zipper tape are in line with the short edges of the facing piece F. Pin in place. Top stitch at the bottom of the box enclosing the zipper. 1 8 7 inch away from the bottom edge of the box. Only sew at the bottom of the box. Do not sew the sides and the top of the box just yet. Turn the lining panel D to the wrong side. Fold the lining pocket outer panel piece, H, down, on top of the lining pocket inner panel piece, G, so that panel G, and H, are now right sides together. 
Align the side edges and also the bottom folded edges of pieces G and H. Pin in place. Flip the lining panel to the right side. Top stitch, 1 8 7 inch away from the sides and top of the box, enclosing the zipper. The zipper is completely sewn to the lining panel, D. Push away and clip the side edges of lining panel, D, out of the way, so that the panels G and H can be sewn together. Align and pin the side edges of pieces G and H. Sew the side edges of the lining zipper pocket with 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Do not sew the bottom folded edge of the lining zipper pocket. This opening will be used later to turn the bag right side out. Trim the seam allowance of the zipper pocket panel to a quarter inch. The lining panel with the lining zipper pocket is complete. Take the lining slip pocket piece, I. Fold piece, I, in half, right sides together. So ooh, the aligned side and bottom raw edges of slip pocket piece, I, leaving a 2 inch opening in the bottom raw edge. So with the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. <music> Clip the four corners close to the stitching. Turn the slip pocket piece, I, to the right side using the opening at the bottom. Use a knitting needle to poke out the corners. Press the opening in by a quarter inch towards the wrong side and press the entire slip pocket flat. Top stitch along all the four edges with 1 8 7 inch seam allowance. Fold the slip pocket in half and mark the center point along the top long edge. Take the other lining panel, D, and mark its midpoint along the top edge. Mark a point, 2 inches down from the midpoint. Place the slip pocket panel, I, on top of lining panel, D, and match the midpoint of panel, I, with the 2 inch marking on lining panel, D. Pin in place. Top stitch on the slip pocket, 1 8 7 inch away from the bottom edge and side edges of slip pocket piece, I. Now we shall make two partitions in the slip pocket. So, we mark a vertical line in the middle of the slip pocket so as to make two partitions. So along the partition line marked on the slip pocket to form two slip pocket divisions. The lining panel with the slip pockets is complete. Take one of the 9 inch long zippers and mark the midpoint of the zipper tape. Take the lower panel piece, A, with right side facing up. Mark the midpoint along the top long edge. Take the zipper and align the long edge of the zipper tape right sides together 
with the top long edge of the lower panel, A, matching the midpoints. So with the aligned edge, with quarter inch seam allowance. Take the exterior zipper pocket lining panel, E. Mark the midpoint along the top and bottom edges. Take panel, E, and place it on top of panel, A, right sides together, aligning the top edges of panel, E, and panel, A, and matching midpoints. The zipper will be sandwiched between the two panels. Flip the panels so that the wrong side of the exterior lower panel, A, is facing up. Sew the aligned edge over the existing line of stitching with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press both panels, A and E, away from the zipper so they are wrong sides together. Top stitch 1 8 7 inch away from the zipper seam. Fold the bottom edge of the zipper pocket lining panel, E, up to match the top unsewn edge of the zipper tape, matching midpoints of the zipper tape and panel, E. Pin in place. Sew the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Take one of the upper panel pieces, B, and mark the midpoints along the top and bottom long edges. Place the upper panel, B, right sides together on top of the exterior lower panel, A, matching midpoints and align the bottom long edge of panel, A, with the top edge of panel, B, where the zipper is present. Sew so the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Push the upper panel, B, right side up, and away from the lower panel, A. On the back side, press the seam allowance towards the upper panel, B. Top stitch on panel, B. 1 8 7 inch away from the zipper edge. Align the side edges of the exterior lower panel, A, and the exterior zipper pocket panel, E, together. Pin in place. Sew the aligned edges with 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now the lining pocket panel, E, is completely sewn to the exterior panel. Take one of the right accent panels, CR, with wrong side facing up. Align the straight long edge of panel, CR. Right sides together with the right hand side short edge of the exterior panel. Sew the right accent panel, CR, to the exterior panel along the aligned side edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Take one of the left accent panels, CL, with wrong side facing up. Align the straight long edge of panel, CL, right sides together with the left hand side short edge of the exterior panel. Sew the left accent panel, CL, to the exterior panel along the aligned side edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the accent panel CL and CR open and away from the central exterior panel. 
On the back side of the exterior panel, press the side seams towards the accent panels. Flip the exterior panel to the right side and top stitch on top of the accent panels, CL and CR, 187 inch away from the side seam edge. The exterior panel is complete. Take the remaining exterior lower panel, A, upper panel, B, exterior zipper pocket panel, E, the remaining zipper tape, and the accent panels, and repeat the steps, to sew another identical exterior panel. Take the D-ring tab piece, L, and fold it in half with wrong sides together, and press. Unfold, and then fold the edges of the D-ring tab piece, L, towards the center crease and press. Fold the D-ring tab in half again to enclose the raw edges, and press. Top stitch along both long edges of the D-ring tab, with 187 inch seam allowance. Thread the D-ring into the tab piece, L. Fold the D-ring tab in half over itself and sew across the D-ring tab as close to the D-ring as possible. Take one of the exterior panels. Make a mark on the side edge of exterior panel, three quarters of an inch down from the top edge of the exterior panel. Place the prepared D-ring tab below the marking made on the exterior panel matching the raw edges of the D-ring tab and exterior panel. Sew so, the aligned edge with 187 inch seam allowance. Take the zipper tab piece, K, and fold it in half lengthwise, with wrong sides together, and press. Unfold, and then fold the long edges of the zipper tab piece, K, towards the center crease and press. Fold the zipper tab in half again to enclose the raw edges, and press. Repeat for the other zipper tab piece, K. Take the 10 inch long main zipper tape. Slide the zipper tape end into the opening of the tab piece, K, until it hits the crease. Fold back the center crease on top of the zipper tape. Pin in place. Top stitch along the edge of the tab, K, 1 8 of an inch away from the edge of the zipper tape. Repeat the process for the other end of the zipper tape. Trim away excess fabric from the short edges of the zipper tab. The top zipper is now ready with zipper tabs sewn to both ends. Take one of the prepared exterior panels, and mark the midpoint along the top edge of the panel. Take the zipper, with the zipper tabs, and mark the midpoint on both long edges of the zipper. Align the main zipper with the top edge of the exterior panel, right sides together, and centered, matching the midpoints. The zipper tabs should be about 5 8 7 inch inwards from the side edges of the exterior panel. Sew the zipper to the exterior panel along the aligned top edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Take the lining panel D with the slip pocket. Align the top edge of the lining panel D with the top edge of the exterior panel already sewn to the zipper, right sides together and matching top and side edges. The zipper will be sandwiched between the two panels. 
pin in place, and sew out the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip the lining panel, D, away from the exterior panel, so that the exterior panel and the lining panel are wrong sides together. Push and press the exterior panel and lining panel away from the zipper tape. Top stitch on top of the exterior panel, through all the layers, 1 8 of an inch away from the seam edge. Start and stop top stitching 3 quarters of an inch away from the side edges of the exterior panel. Do not forget to backstitch at start and stop points of the top stitching. Top stitch through both the exterior panel and lining panel layers. Start top stitching three quarters of an inch away from the side edge. Sew it through all the layers of fabric and stop top stitching three quarters of an inch before reaching the opposite side edge. Backstitch at start and stop points of the top stitching. Take the second exterior panel with right side facing up and mark the midpoint of this panel along the top edge. Place the second exterior panel right sides together over the first exterior panel, which is already sewn to the main zipper. Align the top edge of the second exterior panel with the top unsewn edge of the zipper tape right sides together and centered, matching the midpoint markings. The zipper tab ends of the main zipper should be about 5 8 7 inch inwards from the side edges of the exterior panel. Sew the zipper to the exterior panel with a quarter inch seam allowance. Take the lining panel D with the zipper pocket. Align the top edge of this lining panel, D, with the top edge of the second exterior panel already sewn to the zipper, right sides together and matching top and side edges. The zipper will be sandwiched between the two panels. Pin in place, and sew out the aligned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip the lining panel, D, away from the exterior panel so that the exterior panels and the lining panels are wrong sides together. Push and press the exterior panel and lining panel away from the zipper tape. Top stitch on top of the exterior panel, through all the layers, 1 8 of an inch away from the zipper seam edge. Start and stop, top stitching 3 quarters of an inch away from the side edges of the exterior panel. Do not forget to backstitch at start and stop points of the top stitching. Top stitch through both the exterior panel and lining panel layers. Start top stitching three quarters of an inch away from the side edge. Sew it through all the layers of fabric and stop top stitching three quarters of an inch before reaching the opposite side edge. Backstitch at start and stop points of the top stitching. Unzip the lining pocket zipper completely and the main top zipper halfway. Open and spread out the lining and exterior panels away from each other, such that the exterior panels are now right sides together and lining panels are right sides together. Pin the bottom edge of the exterior panels right sides together aligning the bottom raw edges. Match the accent panel seams at the bottom of the two exterior panels and pin in place.
align the bottom raw edges of the lining panel's right sides together. Sew the bottom edge of the exterior panels and the lining panels with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press open the side seams located near the zipper tabs of the main top zipper. This is the seam where the exterior and lining panels are sewn together. Now we can pin the side edges of the bag together. Push the main zipper tabs toward the lining panel before pinning the side edges. Use sewing pins to accurately match and pin together the pressed seams near the zipper tabs. Pin both of the side edges together using sewing clips. Change the presser foot of your sewing machine to a zipper foot. Using a zipper foot will make it easy to sew out the side section where the zipper tabs are present. The zipper foot will easily glide past the bulky zipper tab section. Now, we sew out the side edges of the bag. Start sewing from the side of the exterior panels. Sew the side edges of the exterior panels and the lining panels with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press open the bottom and side seams of the exterior and lining panels. The four bottom corners of the purse are boxed. Pinch a side seam and its corresponding bottom seam of the exterior panels together and pin it together matching the adjacent side and bottom seams. Use clips to securely pin the area near the boxed corner, so that the seams do not shift while sewing. Sew across the boxed corner with a quarter-inch seam allowance. Stitch back and forth a few times to secure the seams. Repeat for the boxed corner on the other side of the exterior panels and the lining panels. Sew across the boxed corner with a quarter inch seam allowance. Stitch back and forth a few times to secure the seams. Turn the purse to the right side through the opening in the lining zipper pocket. Push out the boxed corners and the main zipper tabs.
pull the lining zipper pocket out, in order to close the opening in the lining zipper pocket through which the bag was turned right side out. Align and pin the folded edges of the lining zipper pocket together. Sew on the lining zipper pocket with 1 8 of an inch seam allowance from the pinned edge. Push the lining zipper pocket back inside. Push the lining panels back inside the bag and align the boxed corners of the exterior and lining panels together. Give the finished bag a good press. Congratulations! You have finished sewing the Adeline Clutch size large sewing pattern. I am sure you enjoyed making this purse. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for more awesome sewing patterns. For more creative sewing content, please visit my channel. See you in the next video tutorial.